This illusion is called Pinnacle Sorrow. If you watched my last video, you know this is a spinoff of While You Can. Go back and watch that if you want. You don't have to. Nobody cares. The figure is crumpled. Its head lies on the ground and depletes and looking up as it wills itself to reach through the hollow of its torso to clasp its hands together. The fingers don't interlock as the hands are too unsteady, and instead they slip into the hole of the opposite palm. There the fingers lock on in desperation, seeing the stability and reassurance of its reality. It is too weak to pinch itself. The concept sketch didn't have a title attached to it, but I think Pinnacle Sorrow is perfect. It marks the conflict of happiness as well as sadness, even a bit of hopelessness. Hopelessness? Hopelessness? Good lord. Which are a reflection of my own feelings about this time in my existence. There are things I feel good about, but they don't really amount to anything in reality. They aren't symbols of success status or recognition, but they are profoundly meaningful to me and are fulfilling emotionally and spiritually, and those are realms of things that I really value. I don't want to have to explain how the things I value are valuable to others. However, that's the world that I live in, and that's what the world thrives off of. Maybe it's now for me, like, becoming the recognition of the oppression of capitalism. It's interesting, even in the book, From Here to Eternity, Traveling the World to Find Good Death, Caitlin as a mortician is repulsed by the expense of commercial slash conventional funeral services and how they strip away the intimacy of early death care, which was initially provided by families with wakes and showings done in a person's house, typically, and, you know, orchestrated by that person's family. In one part of the book, other morticians prefer what they consider a professional approach to not seeing the corpse as a human over seeing the corpse as a human because they are human. I'm sorry, that just popped into my head. And parts of me thinking general physicians have that same sort of detachment. It must be some sort of course at, at medical school. Because it's just like, it's so bizarre that you would not see a person as a person. But I think, I don't know, maybe it's part of like programming. Because I think that's similar for like, people in war. Where it's like, you both are at war and you both have things that you care about. But for some reason, the other person's values are, don't trump yours. For, it's, you know, it's like a weird thing where it's like, no, I understand you're fighting for your family and your country. But I'm also fighting for my family and my country. You know, I don't know. I don't get it. Several songs kind of fit this painting. The first one that came to mind was Worth It by Neon Hitch. Um, one I almost didn't think of. Gold in the Dark. No, The Gold is in the Dark. Cat Pierce. Gold by Marina. Solitaire by Marina. My Kind of Love by Emily Sande. Step Down by Elephant. River, Emily Sande. Teen Idol, Marina. Weight in Gold, Gallant. Blood Upon the Snow, Hozier. Hozier and Bear McCreary. Yes, there was a very clear theme there, but those were what came to my mind when I was nearly done with this. It was like these really have a have a soundtrack. I don't know how long a hot like this can last, but I love seeing my ideas come to life and grow into their own thing. This is definitely its own thing now. I'm already like over it, which is unfortunate. But I really look forward to continuing the series and seeing where it takes me next mentally emotionally spiritually you know if you take anything away from this video it is art truly art and art goes on so i will in my next video thank you for watching